What's up guys, Kevin over at Legros coming back at you with episode 4 of unboxing the Lego Star Wars castle. If you guys have not seen any of the other previous videos, I did just purchase, uh, I spent almost $10,000 on a Lego Star Wars collection that was darn near uh, every set ever made from Star Wars. Uh, about 500, 450 to 500 sets um, that were in there. Obviously that's not all of them that were made, but pretty much <laughs> gives a good summation of, of the major ships that were actually made there. Some missing some older ones, but uh, for the most part, it's been pretty crazy going through all this stuff. So uh, I do have to apologize. I did miss um, one video that I was going to record. I had to give my shipper some boxes to get some of this stuff up there. Uh, so I did kind of not film <laughs> some of the sets that are in here. So we're missing about 40 sets, I would say. So I do apologize if I ever uh, see kind of what sets those were when he posts them all. Then maybe I'll go over just to review which ones they were. Um, I did find this little ditty in here as well, just to get started. Uh, if you guys did not know, this is Canon Jarrus, but he does have black hair and black facial hair. Uh, this is kind of like a smooth-haired Leia. He was only released in the very first version of the Ghost. Um, the instructions even show him with black hair and everything like that. So uh, that was a kind of a cool find. Um, this guy's going for about a hundred bucks plus in the market nowadays, just because he's so rare. Um, just like the smooth-haired Leia, pretty much. So you have to have his matching headpiece and hair. Uh, the hair is not rare because you can get that on another figure. Uh, but the face piece that's um, actually black instead of dark brown, um, that is the rarest piece there. So uh, really, really cool to find him. I've never seen, I've never actually gotten this figure before. So that was a bonus um, to this just enormous lot. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. If you guys do like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. We are almost at a thousand subscribers, so make sure you subscribe. I mean, there's about 70% of our views that come from non-subscribed people. Uh, so I don't know what you're doing. What are you, what are you, what are you waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> Who else is bringing $10,000 Star Wars hauls? Uh, so go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and comment below what your favorite set of today was. Let's go ahead and get started here. First off, we do have the Twilight, the 56, or sorry, 7680. Uh, this is the one that had Rada uh, and uh, Ahsoka in there as well. There's two sets, I think, that Rada was featured in. Um, so this one was pretty big, actually. It, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a big set, <laughs> but it actually took up two gallon-sized bags. So that's a very large set. Um, These are hard to get out of the box, sorry. Next up, we do have the 7678 Droid Gunship. Uh, this was, I think, I don't know if this is the original one. I think this is maybe the second one. Um, it does come with a couple battle droids in there. Uh, they've done a couple of droid gunships. I think this one might be... It's either the one that everybody likes or the one that everybody hates. I think this is the one everybody hates. I don't know. Comment below if I'm wrong. <laughs> if you liked the 7678 version uh, of the droid gunships. I'm not a huge fan of any of the droid gunships, to be honest. Um, but, you know, what can you do? Next up... Let's get the big ones out of the way first here, so we can put those back in the box. We do have the 7673 Magna Guard Fighter. Uh, kind of an interesting set, since there's only just two Magna Guards in there. As you can see, they are present in there, um, with their weapons and everything like that. Um, but those are the only two minifigures featured in there, so <laughs> kind of a cool, uh, cool set, though. Had these little bridles uh, pieces that are kind of attached there, which are kind of unique. Uh, and the cockpit is really unique as well, so cool little build. I've built that one before. Next up, we do have the 7508 AD DP. Uh, this is the one with um, Agent Callus with his helmet and his little bow rifle there. Um, pretty good build too. I've built this one as well. Um, I like the kind of chicken walker style uh, of, of things there. So AD DP is kind of an adapt adaptation of that uh, from Rebels. Next up, we do have Grievous's ship. We have the 9515 Malevolence. Uh, this one was just one of two bags, so there are two bags for this one as well, because this is a massive ship as well. Um, it's an okay minifigure set, kind of interesting, uh, with the Grievous and the Padme Amidala. That's the only one she's featured in uh, specifically. I don't know why um, Padme values are so different. Like, the gunship Padme is way more valuable than this one, even though they're in the same amount of sets, which is kind of strange to me. Where did that come from? All right, next up, let's do another big one here. Well, that's moderate size. We do have Grievous's Starfighter. 
speaking of Grievous, uh, in his the other set that he comes in that uh, tan form uh, is this one, 8095, uh, Grievous's spaceship kind of starfighter, I guess you could call it. Very, very similar to the Magna Guard ship in terms of shape and stuff like that. It just has the cockpit in the back instead of the front, which is kind of interesting. But I guess that goes along with the CIS army. We, got in here. we do also have the 75106. This was a polarizing set. Uh, some people love it, some people hate it. Has the little TIE fighters kind of attached to the bottom there. Uh, but this is a great minifig set. Has Sabine with her awesome, can't really see it in there, but her awesome little red helmet, the red uh, bounty hunter helmet or Mandalorian helmet, you could say. Um, it also has, I think this one had Callus in it as well. And then uh, that really cool droid with the clear top was in there as well. So collected all those figures, got this all ready. Um, I actually kind of like this build. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a cool ship to me, just so different from the other ships. I don't know why people hated it so much. All right, next up we have a little ship. We do have Anakin's Starfighter here, 7669. Just a little tiny, cheaper one. Um, not really good minifig set because you just have R2 <laughs> and the cheap version of Anakin uh, in there as well. You can see him there. Um, just a little starfighter. I mean, still a cool looking ship to me. I mean, if you were going to give me a spaceship, I mean, I would take it if it looked like that. <laughs> just saying, if anyone wants to give me a spaceship. Um, for battle packs, a lot of people were requesting battle packs. Those things sold like instantly when I put them up. Uh, we do have 7655. This was the old episode 3 battle pack, one of people's favorite battle packs because it came with the yellow markings, the shock trooper here, two of the white ones, and then the yellow markings trooper here as well. So four troopers back when they actually did battle packs the way battle packs were supposed to be made. Just a crazy thought. I know. Uh, we do have four of these here as well. Complete builds and minifig sets. Next up, we do have the 9491 Geonosius Cannon, or Geonosian Cannon. Uh, this is the one that had Gree in there. I think he's in a couple Geonosis sets, his Geonosian armor there. Definitely the cheapest of all the clone commanders, uh, but this is a fun little build. I built this one as well, just a tiny little um, build here. We do have two Geonosians, one zombie and one regular, with wings as well. Um, they don't always come with wings, so that's kind of a cool thing. We do also have the 7256. This is a really neat old build. Has Anakin's Starfighter in there again, but it also has a Vulture Droid as well. You can tell by the art. <laughs> Definitely one of the older sets in here. Next up, we do have the 7679 Republic Hover Tank, I think is what this one was called. Or just Hover Tank. Um, this one's a really cool build. I love the colors. Obviously, it has the gunship colors with the greens and the whites and the reds uh, and those clone Republic. Uh, symbols and everything like that. Did have two clones, and that clone had the uh, pack with all the accessories for the clones, which I really, really love. Um, so I decided to put those all in here because <laughs> I use those for many thick sets. But you know, I wanted to sell the set complete, so ultimately I had to load them all up. You can see the armor right in there. So uh, that one is really cool as well. Next up, we do have a smaller set, but is one of the more valuable smaller sets that were made. Uh, this is the 7868 uh, Jedi Starfighter, Mace Windows Jedi Starfighter. Um, this one is really cool because it came with these little droid ships here as well. Um, I'm trying to remember what those... Sap speeders, I think? They're kind of blue, though, so I don't know if they're still the same. And then we did have the TX droid, the tactical droid, the only as I just hit my gun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just hit my gun drawer and guns just flew everywhere. Oh my gosh. Yep, like that, like that. Obviously my gun drawer is overfilled with guns. I have to make some more minifig lots. Uh, but we do have the TX droid, the tactical droid. He's the only, this is the only time we ever saw a tactical droid. I just cannot believe some of the decisions they make. Um, the only time we ever saw the tactical droid, only time we ever saw Mace Windu's uh, astromech. So both of those figures together are like $55 or something like that nowadays, maybe $60. Um, so really, really cool little, little tiny build set. If people would have known, I'm sure they would have gotten a lot more <laughs> of those, uh, considering the tactical droid is the only one there. Um, we do also have 9498. This is Sase Tin's uh, fighter, I believe. Uh, did come with 
even peel f and peel i never have to say their names uh and then that green astromech one of my favorite astromech colors uh in here so this one's surprising i had two books even though it's just a small build i did have two instruction books which is kind of a weird little segue Next up, we do have 8096. This one is the Theta Class Shuttle. Um, this one is a little bit bigger than you'd think as well. I think there are actually two... I don't know if there are two bags. This might be the only bag for it, specifically. Uh, but there are two pretty big books in here, so I don't know what that goes. Maybe just more detail. Uh, but we do see we had the uh, Medical Droid and then the Damaged Darth Vader in there and Palpatine black hands um, but yeah cool little build uh, i don't think i've actually ever built this one not really super interested in it i don't think it looks very cool um but you know in the essence of collecting all of the ships i mean i guess i could see the appeal there Kind of wrapping up, we have a couple more sets here. We do have two of the tank droid. Um, I don't remember they called snail tank. I think is what that's called. Um, the seven five zero one five. This is the one that had the Django Fett in there. I uh, also came with a clone and then one of those cool. I think that's a. I don't know what kind of droid that is. I want to say Geonosian, but I don't think that's Geonosian. I think Geonosian are pink. I don't know what kind of droid that is. Comment below what kind of droid the orange ones were. Uh, but yeah, two of those, they're both complete. Uh, we both got their minifig sets in there and everything, so that's cool. And we do wrap this video up with two Hailfires, I think. Hailfire droids in different um, eras here. So we do have 7670 Hailfire with the little spider droid back there. Uh, I think I already sold one of these. There was two of them in here. Uh, and then the 75085. This is the one with the cool lieutenant um, with the printed legs on there. So he came in a poly bag as well, but I think his poly bag didn't have printed legs. Uh, so that's the difference between those two. But yeah, two cool builds there. This one obviously has more detail on the discs. These discs are just blank. And these ones are printed. So that's pretty much the difference there. This one also doesn't come with a spider droid. I think a lot of people really like the spider droid. So kind of interesting note. Comment below what your favorite of today's video was, uh, and I will go ahead and reply to your comments while we still can comment before the end of the year uh, when my kid, my channel probably turns into a kid's channel and comments will probably be disabled. Uh, unfortunately, I'll probably still keep doing it. Most of you decided you, you did want to keep doing it even if you weren't able to comment, which is really unfortunate, but maybe if we get to 1,000 subscribers, we can do a live stream and then you can guys you guys can comment on the live stream i'm thinking i don't know maybe that feature will be disabled in child's accounts as well <laughs> i have no idea what i'm going to do uh, but train just cranking some of these videos out uh before the end of the world <laughs> as we know it uh, on youtube so uh comment below like the video share it with your friends subscribe we're almost at a thousand we reached 800 and i think we're already 815 or something like that so you guys are rocking it smash the like button subscribe and uh, i'll catch you on the next one